Hi right, guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. Thanks for tuning back in. Thanks for coming back to see me. I'm really pleased you've done so, and I'm exceptionally pleased about to bring you another Sam Martin. Sam Martin are a brand that I really do love, I really appreciate. I just appreciate the sort of workmanship that they produce in their watches. This is their Fruit Series watch. Uh, there's three different color variations to choose from. I've got the grape, but there's a couple of others you can choose from. This is the SN0116GB. Listen, Sam Martin get a lot of stick. Some of it justified maybe because of how they started. But I think nowadays, with the amount of original designs they're doing, the amount of new releases they put out, the amount of different types of watches, divers, dress watches, everything. Is it warranted anymore? I feel like there's not many brands that are doing what Sam Martin's doing at the moment. And like I said, this watch comes in at just below £200. And for that £200, you're getting, obviously, Sapphire Crystal, you get a Beads of Rice style bracelet, a Seiko NH35 movement. It's finishing is exceptional, the on-the-fly just clasp. I don't see many brands that are offering this type and well-executed watch for the money, if I'm honest. Sam Martin have become undeniable. I'm going to say they've become undeniable. One of my friends commented on my video the other day, and he used that word, and I think that's exactly the word to describe Sam Martin nowadays, undeniable. This watch looks like it'd be well in keeping with that in terms of what they're doing at the moment, but is it? You know I'm going to keep it 100 on this channel. So hopefully by the time we get to the end of the video, you know if it's for you. If it is, please use the links in the description. It doesn't cost you any more. This helps you out. Whilst also giving the channel a bit of a kickback. But listen, that's not that important. The main thing is the watch. Because, like I say, Sam Martin's a brand that I really like. And I know many of you do too as well. So sit back, relax. Get yourself a nice beverage. Because it's about that time to get the camera turned around. And get on with it. All right, guys, so this is the watch. The usual sort of packaging out of a cardboard box. Inside, you've got the leverette travel sort of case. Let's grab hold of it without knocking everything over. Uh, inside, you've got a hang tag. And I'm going to show you the links. There's two links that I took off. I didn't leave it in with the watch. Uh, so I don't like to scratch it up. But these links all articulate, look really cool. Screw pins, I've only taken two out for it to fit my wrist. Uh, also comes with a warranty card, and I'm pretty certain it's signed. Sam Martin, don't mess about. There we go. And then, like I said, that's the outer sleeve. You do get the tools as well to size it up, um, which is always handy and always well appreciated. Um, but like I said, this is the usual package that comes in. And there's the watch. It's a stunning little piece, isn't it? And like I said, inside you've got sort of like a velvety material, sort of a go-to material of choice because uh, it's nice and soft against the watch. And then we'll just whack all that to the side and we can concentrate. On the watch itself and put the crown in i pulled it out in preparation for the review but there you go look at that guys very very vibrant very very stunning looks very very cool doesn't it so this is the sn0116 gb inside this watch it's running a seiko nh35 movement i'll bring some information up about that movement now what can i say um there's not an awful lot left to say anymore about these movements seiko nh35 also known as a 4r35 in a natural Seiko watch, uh, rugged, reliable, all those sort of things. 21,600 beats per hour, 41 hour power reserve. Uh, this one's running about six seconds slow a day. I do always say I prefer them to be running fast, but um, for an affordable watch with an affordable movement, I don't think we can grumble with those sort of uh, that sort of timekeeping. But like I say, known entity uh, will run and run and probably run even further. So, yeah, nice, nice to see. The construction of the watch, yeah, the crystal and the be and the bezel insert is all 316L stainless steel. So you've got the crown, you've got the, the, the case, which once again is exceptionally well finished. Look at that. The brush, the polish, the brush on the case to the bracelet. All 316L stainless steel, beads of rice style, the on the fly just class that we all know and love now. Yeah, mixture of brushing and polishing. So that's the case, bezel. Obviously, aside from the insert, solid end links, bracelet, clasp, and crown, all 316L stainless steel. The case thickness of this watch is 11.8 millimeters. The case diameter, I measure from the 8 to the 2, it's coming at 39.5 millimeters. And when you go from the 9 to the 3, including the crown, it's coming at 42.6 millimeters. The lug width from this is 20. That does taper down to 16 and back up to 18.5 at the clasp. And the lug to lug, tip to tip of the watch, is a true lug to lug, given it's got female end links of the center link, and it was coming in at 46.5 millimeters. So, really good proportions there, guys. I like the fact it's only 
eight mil thick, um, not too thick as well. So yeah, good proportions generally. You'll see the bezel. The bezel on this is a sapphire insert and it's a 120 click unidirectional bezel. I'll let you listen. That is crisp. Excuse my hands, guys. It's not that difficult to grab hold of, to go this is with the gloves. But um, you just line out. It's a slightly off. Uh, it's within a Seiko, you would say. But yeah, slightly off. Not had that before with uh, San Martin, but very, very crisp. 120 click unidirectional bezel. Good coining on there. No bounce, no back play. If it only had lined up bang on, it'd be unreal, wouldn't it? But there we are. Crown situated at three o'clock, screw down crown, all signed. Case back sterile. I know some people like to see that changed, but screwed down nonetheless. You've got the bracelet, is a beads of rice style, so you've got polished, articulated links in the center, brushed on the outer, polished on the out on the side of the of the of the links. Screw pins to make it nice and easy to size. And then it goes down to the clasp, fully milled. Like I said, you've got the on-the-fly adjust that you just use by pushing it in. I'll do it. I'll turn it around this way, it'll be easier. So you just push and then you just press the button to release it. Nice and easy. Or it is, it is at least when you're not wearing gloves. But um, yeah, signed on there as well, which is nice to see. But some mind don't mess about with that sort of stuff. So the crystal on the dial is a sapphire crystal. So you've got a sapphire bezel, sapphire crystal covering the dial. Very, very scratch resistant. So we'll just keep going and going. But I have just been admiring this watch, guys. The finishing now from San Martin. As I said in the intro, it was just undeniable, wasn't it? Unreal. The water resistance you'll make that down at the six is 200 meters. So that'll give you 20 atmospheres of water resistance. And the weight will appear in the top right. So with two, those two links removed, it was kind of 129.6 grams. With those two links back in, you're probably almost 140, which is probably, given the proportions, given the bracelet and everything else, I think it's probably about bang on, really. But um, let's have a look at the dial now, guys, in a bit more detail. So what you have is it looks like there's a few elements to this dial. So the outer part is yellow with a green minute track. That's outside of the purple dial itself. Nice bit of contrast in terms of the colors. Uh, they have based it on a grape. Um, so there we are. The purple, inside the purple, so you have another, you have the minute track extended from the outer. You've got buttons everywhere except for the six o'clock position where you have got a date window. And like I say, the date position at the six, I've said many, many times, is most definitely my favorite position to have it because it just doesn't mess up the symmetry of the watch, um, which for me with my OCD drives me insane a lot of the time. So yeah, lot, lots of people put it at the three. I prefer it at the six. So that's good to see. It's sort of like a matte purple dial. below the. So you've got, double, you've got buttons everywhere, as I said. You've got a double button at the 12 o'clock position. Below that, you've got the San Martin logo that's been applied some people are saying that's off i can't see how it is but others probably have better eyes than me says so yeah it's been applied just below the double button at the 12 just above the date window which has been cut out reasonably well you've got automatic 200 m equals 660 feet you'll see the proportions on the hands guys the proportions on the hands are done really really well i think the counterbalance on the, so the second hand the counterbalance the green second hand I think the counterbalance is a bit big. Uh, I wouldn't have probably had it quite so pronounced, if I'm honest. Could have done with being a tad smaller. But the hands and indices have finished exceptionally well, really nicely high polished. Um, but I'm surprised. I'm not. I'm not surprised given it's San Martin. And you're wondering what's the loom like, Sai? Let's have a Gandhi. So this is the loom, and this loom, guys, did not require any charging. This was just me having it in the studio, having it under normal lighting turning the light off and that's why I show a little bit of me turning the light on and off just so you can see that um, and like I said the, the loom just went and went really really good I like the different colors they've used um, it fades a little bit but it does go through the night I've had this next to my bed and I wake up during the night and I can still tell the time because of the loom so yeah really really nice to see the loom of that sort of quality as I said the, the movement itself is an NH35 movement it will brought up all the information earlier take the crown out it hacks Put it back and it starts back up again when it's at the point where it's been unscrewed from the case you can charge it you'll hear that if you put that to the first position you scroll towards you you can change the date obviously to whatever date you need it to go to and put it back in i'll screw the crown back up now 
I've not had any issue screwing this crown up with my gloves on properly. Uh, but now I'm wearing gloves. It may be a problem. No, straight away. You saw that. Um, once I rejig my gloves, it was not a problem. But like I said, the tolerances, the finishing and everything from San Martin now is unbelievable. But yeah, that's the dial, guys. That's the loom. That's everything there. Let me just pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. But guys, this is what it looks like on my wrist. And it's a very purdy thing, isn't it? Very, very vibrant. I do like some of the, the a lot of the stuff that Sam Martin are putting out. I do like vibrant watches. Not understated. Um, and like I said, it's nice to see them putting a bit of thought into their watches now. And like I said, it's a real stunning piece, isn't it? And like I said, two other color variations to choose from. I'll bring them up next to me now. So maybe they'll be more in keeping with your taste. But um, that's what we're working with, guys. Okay, so guys and girls, that will now take me swiftly on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know I always start with pants. I like to go on a high with pucker. So what I think is pants is there's not a great deal, um, but there's a couple of things I do need to mention free to be specific. Is First, I'm going to say the bezel alignment. You can see it is slightly off. Like I said, within a Seiko, but I've not had a bezel just off from San Martin before. So, yeah, unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure it's just a, a one-off. Like I said, I've never had a bezel off from San Martin before. The counterbalance on the second hand, I just think it's too pronounced. Um, it needs to be a bit shorter than that. I would say probably two or three mil off that personally. I think it's a bit too long. And finally, the bracelet length. You'll have seen me mention I've taken two links off for it to fit my wrist. I'm using maybe a couple parts of the micro adjustment down there. But um, I think sometimes now with these bracelets, if you've got a bigger than average wrist, you're going to get to the point where you're going to struggle to get these to fit. So Sam Martin... Could I implore you to maybe put a couple more links in these bracelets just to help out people with slightly larger wrists? Um, yeah, that would be my, my takeaway. So they're the three things. Bezel alignment, counterbalance, and the bracelet length. What I think is pucker is I do love the dial. I do love how vibrant it all looks with those purples and you've got the silvers, obviously, from the hands and indices. You've got the greens and stuff. I think it looks really, really nice. You've got the date location and on top of that date color. So I like where it is. I like the fact they've colour matched it. With the last diver I did from San Martin, it wasn't massively well received, but I, I appreciate the fact they've colour matched it. The loom, I think the loom is exceptional. Uh, like I said, not nice different colours like they're starting to do now. And like I said, it looks really, really nice when it's dark. The bracelet, yeah, the bracelet's so comfortable, articulates so well. And like I said, where that, that beads of rice style, they're articulated independently. It just adds a bit more comfort. The clasp, I know we're getting used to this clasp, but guys, it's really nice. Really, really comfortable. On different sort of days where it's hot or cold, your wrist expands and stuff, it's nice to be able to sort of make it bigger or smaller on the fly, which is cool. The size of the watch, like I said, given it's a 39 and a 0.5 mil by 46.5, it makes it very much unisex for people. Um, it's going to fit many, many wrist sizes. The proportions, aside from the counterbalance, I think they've nailed it with so much. In this watch in terms of how it's how it's styled how it's designed how it's put together and the general look i think the general look of this watch is exceptional i've had so many people ask me about this watch at work and out and about i've had to refer people to to san martin and i'm sure they've managed to pick a few up so yeah they're the things i'm going to mention i'm going to go with the dial i'll go to date location date color loom bracelet clasp size <laughs> proportions and the general look of the watch. And guys and girls, that's going to take me on to, would I recommend this watch? And it always feels quite funny to me that I'm now going to answer that. But given the disparity, you're going to know what's coming. Yeah, of course, um, there's very few San Martins that I don't like. And this is a beauty. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. But guys and girls, as I always say, please let me know what you think about this watch. And maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel. And as I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And always watch the time. Take care, guys. All the very best.